This is the photo of a Polish child named Tereska. Tereska, who is seven years old in this photo, survived a concentration camp during the Second World War in Warsaw, Poland. This photo was taken three years after the war, and its origins were just discovered within the last several years. You may be wondering what's happening in this photo. This picture captures Tereska in the middle of an assignment called This is Home, where students drew on chalkboards what home looked like to them. Some observe this could be her mind on display, racing for direction, confused, or the depiction of barbed wire fences. The display in her face coincides with her drawing, her eyes being a window into her soul of the fear and trouble she experienced at a young age. There are two photos taken within moments of each other. As you can see, Tereska has continued with intensifying scribbles with no change in her harrowing gaze in both photographs. Tereska was four when the Nazis invaded Poland. The Luftwaffe bombed her hometown and destroyed her home. Both of Tereska's parents were active in fighting back with her mother sneaking food into the camp ghetto, and her father joining the Polish underground state, also known as the Resistance. Tresca grew up immediately in fight-or-flight environments. Her grandmother returned to the home to collect what she could. However, it is believed that she was unalived by a Ukrainian who had sided with the Nazis, something not uncommon during the Nazi occupation to deal with the Polish resistance groups. As for Tereska's father, he was picked up by the Gestapo on suspicion for working with the Polish resistance. Unfortunately, all of his teeth would be lost as a result of their interrogation. Initially after the bombings in her city, Tereska would be accompanied by her 14-year-old sister Jadwiga. During this time, Tereska would only be the age of four. To reach their next destination would be a 40-mile walk on foot through a war-ravaged country. Although lucky to have survived this walk, it didn't come without its difficulties. Tereska was struck by a piece of shrapnel from the shelling. This piece of shrapnel would damage the left side of her brain. While fleeing the city, they would also starve during the three weeks it took. Unfortunately, the damage caused by the shrapnel to Tereska permanently impaired her ability to think properly. Photographs were also taken of other students' depictions of home that day as well, with Tereska standing out the most. Unfortunately, not all stories have happy endings. Tereska was seven when this photo was taken. The school she has seen inside of here was quoted as one for backward and psychologically upset children, although researchers found notes from some teachers saying she was talkative and actively contributed to reading and counting classes. It would also be discovered that she had started up a habit of drinking and using tobacco in her teenage years, while also hurting her little brother and stealing. Tereska's last journey was a transfer almost 200 miles away from Warsaw to a mental ward. In 1978, Tereska would choke on food that she had stolen from another patient that would make cause as her final day. Some say that in Tereska's life, the war had never ended. Her haunted eyes and drawing on the board say a lot about her life struggle. Like and subscribe for more interesting stories and share your thoughts on this one below.